What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the last video in the complete guide to Facebook advertising, I'm going to show you how to pause, cancel, delete any of the ads that you don't want running and we're going to get right into it. Guys, in previous videos, I went over how to set up your Facebook ad account, how to set up your business page. Uh, we went over how to create your first successful ad. We went over audiences, and targeting. We went over reporting, optimization, and you know what to do after you know the numbers. And this is the last video. So if you guys have not watched any of those videos, I highly recommend that you go back and watch those. Uh, but for today's video, I'm going to show you real quick how to pause, cancel, and delete any of the ads that you have running. Okay, so we are in our Facebook Ads Manager. Um, I created kind of a dummy ad here. Um, so the first way is super easy. Um, if you have one ad in one ad set in one campaign, uh, then you can easily shut off all of your ads in that campaign by just clicking on this toggle here. So this is actually off right now. You can see it's inactive. If you toggle this over, this would make it active. Um, and it's it's actually, uh, it didn't even go live, so it's in review. If it was active at one time, it would just say um, active. But this campaign has only one ad set and one ad, right? If you have multiple ads in that campaign, so say you had in this campaign, if you click on this checkbox, it'll have all of the ads in it if you go to this, right? So I only have one ad here, but if you have, you know, five ads in one ad set and one campaign, then it's going to shut off all of those ads if you do it from this campaigns tab, right? If you want to go and you have multiple ads in that campaign, then you can go here to the ad level and shut off the ad at the ad level. I highly recommend that you do that instead of shutting off one full campaign. Um, that's the easiest way to do that, right? So that is the easiest way to uh, pause or cancel an ad. Um, if you wanna cancel an ad set, so say if you're split testing um, and you have multiple, um, multiple ad sets, ad set would be who you're targeting, uh, it could be your budget, and then within that ad set, you might have multiple ads, right? Um, we're just going to duplicate this so I can show you real quick. Yeah. So this is what that, that would kind of look like. So I have multiple ad sets, um, and then each of these ad set has an ad, right? If I unclick these, and I go to this, I have multiple um, ads because I have multiple ad sets, right? So if I'm testing one ad set against another ad set, say you're split testing an image, right? So your copy is the same, your headline is the same, uh, the landing page is the same. The only thing that is different is the image. You have two different images and you can see the results. Uh, we went over that in the last video. One ad is doing really, really well. The other ad is not. And you want to cancel the ad that is not doing well and you know that you have one ad set and one ad, all you need to do is go to that ad set and just toggle off here, right? And then if you go to your ad, then you know, excuse me, let me unselect this, You then you know that these ads are off. It's confusing because if you go here, you'll see, okay, these are on, but really one of these is off, right? So if you check this box and then go to your ad, you know that this campaign is off. So what I would do is I would just go and turn it off so that you know you're not confused by any of the numbers if you just click on, because the problem is if you click on this campaign and you click on this and you go straight to your ad, then it would show both of these as being on and then you don't know really which one is going, right? In this case, we now know because this um, is toggled on, this is toggled off. I would always recommend just going and clicking all of these so that you know um, which is which is going on here. All right, so um, that's kind of what you should do if you want to pause or cancel the ads that you have running. Now, if you want to delete an ad, what I recommend doing um, and how I teach creating Facebook ads is doing one ad per one ad set. 
and I would just go and delete the ad set and that will in turn delete the um, the ad itself. So if you go here to the ad set that you want to cancel or delete, you just click on this checkbox and then go and delete this and say, yes, I want to delete that. You have to be really sure that you're deleting that uh, because you can't get that back, right? And then we deleted the ad as well. So if you if you follow how I teach one ad per one ad set, then you can just delete the ad set that you don't want running. Really, there's no reason to delete the ads um, unless you broke a lot of rules and violations of Facebook and you kind of want that expunged from your Facebook ad account. That would be the only reason I can see deleting an ad would be beneficial. Um, otherwise, you really just want to kind of keep that ad there so that you have the numbers and that you know, okay, this split test, this is what won. I really don't want this, uh, this picture really didn't work. So I want that to be in there so I know uh, if I ever forget, I can come in here and say, okay, that picture didn't really work. I don't want to use that one ever again, right? So guys, that is how you pause, cancel, delete any of the ads that you have running. As I mentioned earlier, if you haven't watched previous videos, go watch those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I come out with a new video every single day at 1 p.m. Central. All right, guys, so if you guys like this video, again, give it a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.